Hi guys, my name is Isabel Daza and today we are recreating a recipe from my Lola Nora's very famous cookbook, Let's Cook with Nora. Nora Daza was a pioneer TV chef in the Philippines and her cookbook is considered a classic in every Filipino household. Cooking runs deep in my family and we owe it all to my Lola Nora. I miss her so much and I want to bring back some of her favorite recipes and her passion for good food. This is Cooking with My Lola. So I have my Tita Nina here who's gonna help us. I'm so glad you're here because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and we're gonna make beef stroganoff. And we have the book here. So Tita Nina, you are one of the people who basically tested these recipes. 260. I was the only person. <laughs> yeah. No, Tita Stella did one. Yeah, that she did one. I'll one of the 260. <laughs> so she tested the 260 recipes and really revived the cookbook to make it more modern. And I'm here to have it in video form so that I can share and learn. You know, they asked me, why are you doing this? I said, honestly, it's a personal project so right. I can learn the recipes of Lola Nora and I thought, why not share it with an audience who will listen? Right. So today we're gonna make beef stroganoff. I did a, some research mm -hmm. on this and it is a Russian dish, so oh, to speak. I didn't because, even know that. Because it has sour cream. All right, mm -hmm. let's start. Okay. So the first step is to season the beef we with need salt. half a kilo of beef, okay. sirloin. So this is the sirloin cut, mm -hmm. and we're gonna season it or top with brown. You have to cut it pepper. first, Bell. Okay, okay, okay. You have so to cut just... them into strips. Okay. Why, why strips and not cubes? Why they then? But traditionally, it's they're more in cubes. Are these no? okay? A uh, little thinner. Okay, little. there you go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this knife is so sharp. Don't be careful. I'm scared? No, don't be scared. You know this. That's why we're 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 trying to teach the younger generation to be more brave and bold in the kitchen. That's why we're empowering them by giving them tested recipes. That's true. Actually, when you know what goes into your food, you yeah, realize you appreciate it more, no? yeah, how either easy or difficult it is and you appreciate it much yes. more. You can take out the mga litin part. No? Okay, so I take out this part. Yes. And if you see the muscles are running up like this across, you have to cut across the muscle. Across the across muscle? Across the grain. Yeah, but this one is fine. Yes. So you have, there's a way of cutting? Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to prepare now the the uh, clean bag where we will put the three fourths cup of Maya sifted all purpose flour. Yeah, okay, so this is three fourths cup of Maya. All push you just said it, I'm just <laughs> repeating it. So, Maya is actually a brand that's been around since the 60s. Oh, yeah, yes. And and Lola Nora used to use that. Yeah, that's what I love about it is that Lola Nora was very involved in the Maya. Cook fest. Yes. Right? It's called the Great, the Maya, Great Cook Maya Cook fest. fest. Yes. And I know that she went around with all the winners, the chefs. They're who, not. They're not chefs, Belle. They were home cooks that became chefs. Some of them did. Like, yes. Like Chef Jessie. Chef Jessie. Yeah. yeah. She 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 joined this and she won. And Lola Nora took her around. Yeah. It, it, it's really a company that's built on family traditions. And exactly. That's what I love about it. Let's put the okay. salt and pepper first. So now we're gonna put the salt and pepper with the Maya flour. Yes. Not on this. Not no. We need to season the flour. Okay. So now you put the beef in the bag. Okay. Because we want to dredge. We, have, we want to dredge the piece, the beef into with flour. Okay. So we want to coat is the dredge like a cooking term? It is. Okay. You could dredge on a plate or you could coat the beef in a bag. In a bag. So it's it's easier. Okay. And you can coat, coat it evenly. You can, can I just seal the bag. Seal it? Yes. So now the the beef is being coated. Let's heat the pan. Me while you're doing that, I'm going to heat the melt the butter. And go. now you have also some cooking oil. Cooking oil. You know why we put cooking oil? Yeah, like, isn't it just butter or cooking oil? Why do you have to put both? Uh, because I like the flavor. The butter gives flavor, but it burns easily. Yes. So you need to put a little cooking oil, oil to uh, lower the smoking point. That sounds so scientific. No, basta. Basta. Okay. Para hindi okay, tama. Okay. Yun lang. So that it doesn't burn, we have some butter and cooking oil. I think one thing that's also very important when you're cooking is that you use quality ingredients because Correct. guys, at the end of the day, this is what you're putting in your body. So, so now that it's... We have to make sure that it's completely melted so that the frying temperature is correct. I feel like I did a good job drenching it in the Maya flour. Let's fry this in batches, Bell. Maybe two batches para we don't let the temperature of the oil drop. Just sprinkle it around. There you okay. go. Yeah. Yes. Let so, it cook on yeah, one don't side. Don't touch it first. Yeah. Let it 
sear first. Okay, we did that. That's a yes. check. Okay, so now, now we have to chop the onion. Okay, we're gonna prepare the onions. But Bell, we have to change the chopping board. I don't want you to chop the same chopping board as the meat. Guys, Tita Nina is a like germaphobe <laughs> slash meat freak. I'm, All in one, but it's not. a good thing. It's a good thing. No, it's a good thing. that's just the right way to do things in the kitchen. Okay, what's the proper way of chopping an onion? I know that you're supposed to put a matchstick what? so that you don't. Yeah, so that you don't. Oh, I cry. Didn't know that. Yeah, I that's just, what they said. I just slice it. Okay, guys. High speed this part, it looks like I'm a professional. <laughs> Shocks. You don't have to be a professional, you know? That's true. Yeah. Actually, I'm doing this because I want to learn. And, you know, I'm intimidated to go in the kitchen because I'm scared to be judged by how I cook. But you got to do it. Otherwise, you'll never learn and you'll yeah, never improve. that's the only way to learn. You just have to. But I would say that my taste there. buds are very mature. Mm -hmm. Meaning? Meaning I'm really judgy and picky when it comes to the food. Okay. I like. So I just... And you like this beef stroganoff, no? Yeah. So Belle, now we're done with the beef. You know, Belle, when you cook, you have to be really present. Take note of how it smells, how it looks, how it feels. Okay. Diba kanina, the meat was, you could feel that it was soft. No, you can see it's firm. Yeah. Because it's already cooked. Okay. Or half cooked. See? And I like you that. You know, being present is one of my themes for this year. It's really about being here in the moment and not worrying about, oh my gosh, I have like five emails to answer. Okay, my eyes are like... You're with Balti there. Yeah, Coming. I'm like thinking, okay, did he come back from school already? Did he not come back from the park? Exactly. Wait, let's fry this a little more. Okay, so now I'm done with my onions. And Maybe the garlic naman, Belle. Give me one clove garlic minced. Minced is smaller than chopped. Yeah. You can lower the heat also. Okay. Yeah, let it lower. It's higher. <laughs> OMG. Oh my God. It's oh fine, Lord. it's fine. That's for bloopers. <laughs> That's for bloopers. Oh my God. <laughs> After that fire hazard, <laughs> I'm alive. I need insurance yeah, for this. It happens, Bill. Yeah. So this one is the sautéed onions. Why right. do you have to do the onions first? I know that because they take longer to cook. And then you put the garlic after. Yes. Okay, I knew that. You wait for it to get translucent. The back. Mm -hmm. What I like about this is you're cooking it in the kind of beef leftovers yes. with the Maya flour. All so the it gets thicker and it gets more flavorful. All the juices of the yes. beef are Should there. Should we add the, onion, the garlic? Uh, garlic now. Yes. That's so, why even in the cookbook I, so is I put. Wait for the onions to be soft and fragrant so that you will be alert. You can smell it, you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I was saying, mm. going back to that, as a new mom, I think one thing that's very important for me is meal times together oh, with yes. my family. Crucial. And yeah. that really develops, obviously, a bond with each other. Yeah. And for me, it's like creating memories, right? Definitely. That's what I wrote in the introduction of the cookbook, actually. Really? Yeah. You know, meal times are sacred and you need to. And, and this is the best excuse to get the family together. Yeah, and, and so if you prepare a meal from your heart, it, you just, you're so much more proud and say, okay, I cooked this for you guys. So gratifying. Next. Okay, next we have, here one. is the, the tomato sauce. One cup. It's one cup, it's yes. already measured. Yeah. So we're gonna put it in the mushroom and garlic. No mushroom yet. Onions and garlic. Onions and garlic. Okay, thank you. Thank God you're here. <laughs> so, Belle, look at this. See the tomato sauce is red now because it's still raw or okay. uncooked. No? Okay. But then when you see... when you I stir it? Start, yeah, when okay. you start simmering it, it will turn orange. That's my anorent. Because I don't like the taste of raw tomato Can sauce. you smell it? No. Why? What's the difference if Wala you lang, it parang it's, you see, Now, look, it's turning orange. Okay. Diba? That's a great tip. So, simmer it a bit and then we add the beef broth. Okay. So meanwhile, you prepare beef broth. So I love to make everything from scratch because mm -hmm. I think it's good to, I don't know, it's just more flavorful and less... It's more healthy. More healthy. That's why in the cookbook, I have a uh, um, section there for homemade stocks. Okay. But if you're in a hurry, you can use beef cube Cubes. if you want. So. so how do you actually make beef broth? You get the bones and you boil it with water you over You have to roast time. the bones first. Okay. Because in the roast, oven? Yes. Okay. With, I didn't um, know that. With onions, celery, and carrots, the mirepoix. That's French. Yeah, mirepoix. Pois. Pois. Okay. Mirepoix. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> okay, so this is the broth that we already prepared. Yes. It's roasted and we're adding it to it's make beef broth. Uh -huh. So beef stroganoff is best paired with pasta or right. egg noodles. Yes, buttered fettuccine. But I feel like or... as Filipinos, we can eat it with rice because we love rice. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it semi-healthier, you can have brown rice. Well, okay. while that's Let simmering, it simmer. Yes. We need to add the mushrooms. So this is just canned button mushrooms. Just one by one. One but by one. But you can use it. You can cut fresh. One by one. You can buy fresh. We also save the mushroom water 
because this is canned mushrooms, just to add to the, the stewing liquid. So this dish is very liquidy, but with the Maya all-purpose flour, it yes. really thickens yes. the sauce and it becomes a right. bit of a stew. Correct. Okay, yes. now I've chopped Perfect. some 80% of the mushrooms. Galing. And I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. Okay. Now we add the beef. For this beef is already coated in the Maya all-purpose flour. Yes. So you know, in your kitchen, you have to have the right tools also, so that you're not like, okay, what will I use? You know, scrambling. Have... Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so now, now cover it and simmer it until I'll the beef it... is tender. Depends on the beef, maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, so while we were waiting for the beef to simmer, yes. we already put the pasta with some salt and water, and I think it's Correct. ready. So we yes. can turn this one off. Let's just check our beef first. Okay. Ooh, it oh. smells so good. Yes, but Belle, we could mm. also put some pasta water because it's drying out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Just to thin out the sauce. Although we're going to put sour cream pa, no? So one half teaspoon of fine salt. Yes. And then we're gonna have one fourth teaspoon of black. ground black pepper. pepper. If you have freshly ground black pepper, that would be great also. So we're just gonna taste the beef. So good. Okay, now put the sour cream. The finishing touch. The beef is so yummy and tender. Yay. I'm so happy I'm glad with you it. like it. One thing that Lola Nora also taught me growing up was mm. she has she said you need to constantly taste. Right. When you're cooking. Like you said, you have to trust your taste buds, right? Yeah. You have to learn to trust your taste buds, yeah. True. And you tweak it according to how you like it. You can also add hot sauce if you want this to be a little hot, spicy. Yeah. Okay, now let's take out the pasta now. Before it gets overcooked, we have to cook the pasta to al dente, okay? Yes. Al dente meaning it's just to a little bit tooth, undercooked, yeah. right? <laughs> Plating is also a very important right. aspect. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, now we're gonna put the beef on top of the pasta. The, you can use fettuccine, linguine, not a lot, well, just a Egg little. noodles. Egg also. noodles, yes. And Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this for the rice. I'm gonna put some parsley yeah. and, and, and some parmesan. parmesan. Yes. Perfect. Adrian and Balt will be so happy. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself and thank you so much for teaching me. <laughs> so so, I'm so, so happy, happy you're like here. Okay, so now it's the moment of truth. I'm gonna try with the pasta. The dish we cooked. How is it? Mmm, good? Perfect. Oh my gosh. It's so yummy. <laughs> Guys, it's so good. I think it's a perfect mix of tomato, but then it has some sour cream, so it's a little right. bit more indulgent, but whole bodied. So there you have it, beef stroganoff from Let's Cook with Nora. This book was remade by my tita Nina Daza Puyat, and it's available in National Bookstore and Anvil.com and online stores. So grab a copy and try making this. So with Lola Nora, I know yes. that she had a huge impact, obviously, in the Philippine culinary right. industry. But aside from that, I also want to introduce her to this generation, right? right? And I know That's that exactly she right. had a big influence in all of your lives. Yes. You, Tito Sandy. Tita Stella, Tita Marles, and of course my Your dad. Your dad, Bo. I, I would say our great cooks. Yes. Maybe except my dad. <laughs> He's a good taste, yeah, yeah, yeah. taste tester though. Yes. And I think that's what I got from him. Yes. But now you know how to cook. Yeah. And I think what I loved about Lola Nora is she really put the heart in home cooking. Really. And she really said that you don't have to be an expert. Yeah. You just have to try it out. You have to have a good recipe to begin with also. Exactly. And so that's also what I want to do. Encourage others and myself to learn how to cook and enjoy it. Yes, enjoy okay. the whole process. I definitely enjoy eating, so that's already a big step. Thank you so much again, Tita Nina. Oh, you're welcome, Belle. You know, I grew up watching you on TV and watching Tita Sandy and yeah. Dolanar, so I'm so happy and honored to have you here. It's my pleasure. I, I learned so much from you. Cool. Anytime. And I'll see you. Okay, so now that she's gone, I'm gonna take another bite of this because <laughs> I want to enjoy it. I'm really glad I made beef stroganoff because to be honest, I wouldn't have chosen this, but because it was in my grandmother's cookbook, I really wanted to challenge myself and it actually seemed pretty easy. Now that I'm familiar with the steps, definitely I'll feel more confident when I make it at home. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.